The Mysteries of Underwater Megacities, a new look on ancient civilizations. Covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, the vast ocean still remains a huge mystery to humans, as we only attempted to explore 1-2% to of the ocean floor. However, people have discovered many massive man-made structures under the deep sea around the world. For example, the Yanaguni Architectural Complex in the Sea of Japan, the mega city on the northeast coast of Cuba, or the lost continent of Atlantis, and Mu. Scientists believe that this may be the legacy of prehistoric civilizations. Cities from the Past There is plenty of scientific evidence showing that an area of more than 10 million square miles, equivalent to China and Europe combined, under the sea level was formerly land. Therefore, it comes as no surprise if we find underwater cities. The area we now call the continental shelves, the shallow seas surrounding the edges of the continents, in some cases, extending several hundred kilometers offshore, such as the Mediterranean and Black Seas, were all mainland areas in the past. In the shallow Mediterranean Sea, where archaeological projects are frequent, more than 200 cities have been discovered and distributed throughout the seabed at various depths. Up until now, scientific research has mostly been limited to shipwrecks and the like. But if we dig deeper into the civilizations that existed before they sank to the bottom of the sea, we will most likely go beyond the current theoretical framework. Giant Constructions in America it all started when the Cuban government hired a number of oceanographers to work in the waters between Cuba's westernmost point and the Yucatan Peninsula, using side-scan sonar technology to map the seafloor in the area. Scientists began to notice the remains of a structure, which looks strangely symmetrical, located about a half mile below the water surface. The divers could not operate at such depths due to the immense water pressure so they utilized the Remote Operated Underwater Vehicle, or ROV. This is a self-propelled robot equipped with headlights and cameras that can send visual signals to the surface. The resulting image delivered the shapes of giant megaliths weighing about 40 to 50 tons and stacked on top of each other. This work had square edges, straight lines and rounded curves, which certainly couldn't exist without the hands of humans. After a detailed scanning and mapping process, scientists have identified 30 constructions. Based on image reconstructions, these sites look a lot like cities in Central America, across the regions of Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula. Built by the Maya, Aztecs, Toltecs, and other native people, these undersea architectures were similar to those in the ancient sites of Chichen Itza, Teotihuacan, or Pelink. There were stepped pyramids next to large squares. Regarding the architectural design, they were clearly linked with the other ancient city ruins of Native Americans. The only discrepancy would be their location under the deep sea. So, they must have sunk into the ocean a long, long time ago. The 1.7 million year old bridge in India. The Indian Geological Survey's former director believes he found evidence of a 1.7 million years old man-made bridge, suggesting that humans resided on Earth much longer than we currently believe, and were capable of constructing complex structures even before the birth of modern science. This seems to put everything that we have heard before in doubt. According to mainstream scientists, humans have appeared on Earth for about 200,000 years, but the finding of this bridge has been challenging scientists' beliefs. The structure can even be seen from outer space, occupying a relatively large area, stretching from India to Sri Lanka. Coincidentally, ancient Hindu legends said that King Rama, a Hindu god, built a bridge of similar proportions over a million years ago. Since ancient times, it has been called Rama Bridge or Rama Setu. Some others call it Adam's Bridge. In the Indian epic Ramayana, a bridge was built to help Rama cross the sea, reach a large island and rescue his wife from the demon king Ravana. So is this bridge man-made or natural? 
an expert has confirmed in favor of the man-made side. Considering this definitive evidence that humans existed and built sophisticated structures millions of years ago, we are talking about Dr. S. Badri Narayanan, a former director of the Geological Survey of India and former coordinator of the Survey Division of the National Institute of Ocean Technology, or NIOT. He had studied specimens in the core of the bridge and believed that they were not naturally formed, as other scientists hypothesized, but a man-made structure created over a million years ago. Dr. Badri Narayanan and his team drilled 10 holes along the Adams Bridge. What he discovered was a shock to the public. At about six meters below the surface of the bridge, he found a layer of sandstone, coral, and worn rock-like material. His team was even more shocked to discover a layer of loose sand about four to five meters below it, and then hard structures. A group of divers were sent to examine the bridge body. They identified that the rocks were not formed at sea, but originated from either side of the causeway. Dr. Badri Narayanan also pointed out that there was evidence of ancient quarrying in these areas. His team concluded that the material was from one of the two shorelines, which were placed on the sandy bottom of the sea to form the bridge. Regarding the layering phenomenon of the core specimens, Mr. Servrat Kerr, a geologist in the field of undersea stratigraphy, offered several explanations on his blog. During the Pleistocene, glacial period, the glaciation phenomenon occurred. The ice accumulation and melting caused the sea level to fluctuate within a few tens of meters, facilitating the formation of some coral reefs and shoals. During periods of low water levels in the Pleistocene, there was a stretch of land connecting India and Sri Lanka. But at the end of the last Wisconsin Ice Age, sea levels started to rise again around the world and totally engulfed it. According to him, when coral reefs grew, they would eventually reach surface water and were sometimes broken by waves and therefore fell below. Similarly, sand could also be swept away and deposited, creating different layers above the sediments. In 2007, when new NASA photos of the Adams Bridge went public and drew the attention of the online community, the Bharatiya Janata Party in India announced that NASA had dated the bridge to 1.7 million years ago. This date is consistent with Indian legends, which was one of the four periods of humanity in which King Rama lived. Some reports at the time even suggested that the land on either side of the bridge was also dated to 1.7 million years old not just the bridge itself. Lost Cities at Gulf of Kambat, India In 2001, the Indian Oceanographic Institute conducted oceanographic surveys in the Gulf of Kambat to study the impact of marine pollution there. About 11 miles offshore, at a depth of 50 meters, while scanning the seabed with side-scan sonar technology, they captured symmetric and repeating lines that formed a square grid. The site was considered remarkable as it covered a large area of sea, 13 square kilometers. At that time, the Indian government immediately sent people to explore the scene. The whole process of studying the site was such a struggle for divers because the currents were pretty rough and unpredictable. Thankfully, their hard work finally paid off. They were able to identify many long stone walls, which were made of rocks that have been cut, shaped, and stacked. The team also identified two isolated cities located on the banks of an old riverbed. Their network of streets were similar to those of Mohenjo Daro Harappa and other ancient cities of the Indus civilization. More interestingly, they were able to collect dozens of remains and evidence of human settlement, including stones, ceramic, metal, and wooden relics. They even found bones. Moreover, about 300 kilometers north of the Gulf of Kambat site is the city of Dwarka. Its excavations have revealed the remains of an underwater city. Dwarka Citadel appears very popular in many ancient Hindu legends, so for Indians, this is a particularly interesting discovery. Yanaguni Complex in Japan Being hailed as the archaeological discovery of the century, the Yanaguni Architectural Ensemble was accidentally discovered off the Japanese island of Yanaguni. It was ancient architecture with pillars, hexagons, stairs, paths, 
vaulted corridors, and even a stepped pyramid. Although it has been hypothesized that the Yanaguni Architectural Ensemble is the result of seismic activity in the area, and their composition in relation to each other suggests the opposite. This is actually ruins of a city. Scientists found the chemical structure of chalk in the complex, which does not occur naturally in the area. There are two openings about two meters wide right next to the architectural complex, which no archaeologist can classify as natural structures. The entire underwater city of Yanaguni is estimated to be at least 10,000 years old. Ocean archaeology has just become a full-fledged academic discipline in the last 50 years, when advanced diving equipment was introduced. According to ocean archaeologist Dr. Nick Fleming, there are at least 500 underwater sites containing remnants of architectural forms or man-made artifacts around the world, of which nearly one-fifth are more than 3,000 years old. Continent of Mu the idea of the continent Mu, or Lemuria, first appeared in the works of the British-American archaeologist, traveler and writer Augustus Lee Plungian, 1825-1908. During the months of traveling around the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, to study the ruins of the Mayan civilization, Plungian translated one of four ancient Maya texts. In it, there is a story about an ancient continent Mr. Plungian later called the continent of Mu. According to Plongian, Mu was located somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean and was sunk into the sea by terrible earthquakes, like in the case of Atlantis. The survivors of Mu took refuge in Egypt and the Yucatan and then created brilliant civilizations. Later, British writer James Churchward also mentioned this mysterious continent in the work The Lost Continent of Mu, The Motherland of Men, 1926. Churchward argued that Mu actually existed in the Pacific Ocean. It was once a free land inhabited by more than 60 million people. The records studied by James Churchward also showed that the technological level of the continent of Mu was even far more advanced than our modern one. And ancient civilizations such as ancient India, Babylon, Persia, Egypt, and Maya all have things in common with the civilization of this continent. The residents of the Mu are said to be highly developed and strongly believe in gods. The head of Mu was called the Son of the Sun. Temples were built everywhere to show their faith towards the creator of Mu. However, 13,000 years later, Mu completely disappeared when a volcano erupted, destroying everything. Records all showed that Mu was destroyed for the same reason as other prehistoric civilizations on Earth. That is when morality corrupted. People only pursued material values and disregarded spirituality. Today, an underwater structure off the coast of the Okinawa Islands, Japan, may be the remains of Mu. So, is our current civilization the greatest civilization ever seen? Or is it merely a part of a circle of many civilizations? The answer may be found at the bottom of the oceans. Which ancient construction are you impressed the most with? Please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and see you next time!